if you didn't know already, as part of my ultimate university guide over on my blog, please do check it out. Um, episode one was all about the basics and part of that included what to take to university and also what's in my uni bag. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what I take with me to law school. So this is the bag that I'm going to be using for today's video. And I don't always take this bag with me to school, actually. I got this from a market, actually, so it was really affordable. And I don't think you guys can get it, but you can find something similar. As a law student, I wanted something that would kind of go with the whole smart casual look. So this is just a structured bag. And you can get structured bags from River Island, New Look, um, H&M, and for okay, decent prices that will last for the whole academic year. So this is the bag I've got, and it's got a little pouch compartment at the front here, and then along the sides of the bag, you've got two zip compartments, and then it's got one main compartment in there which also has different compartments inside, and then on the back, it's also got a nice zipper compartment, so it's very spacious, um, which is good. I mean, if you're going to be in law school, you need a bag which can carry a lot of books and reading materials because that's essentially what you're going to be doing. So, yeah, let's just get started. I'm going to start with the main compartment since that's where most of the stuff is so from the outset it looks like this it looks very full and I won't lie to you the bag is kind of heavy so I mean I would carry this on my hectic days when I'm having a lot of classes and perhaps where I'm going to the library for the day and I just need a lot of stuff so I would carry this bag because but other than that I wouldn't because it's quite heavy <laughs> The first thing I have at the back here is just this little folder and it's just like this, I got it from Wilkinson's and you can basically just take this part out and then just attach papers in here. So I usually like to use these for times when I'm doing research for essays and assignments and I use this to write down every single information that I find that's relevant to the topic and then from this I can then write my essay and I usually write an essay two to three days but I would usually take about what two to three weeks to do the research. I've also got just a refill pad. I would read a book, write the title if it's a legislation or a book or a case and then write my brief notes on what I found from it and the page numbers as well. This is essential because anytime you're writing an essay or a report, you always need to have adequate references and the more detailed your references are, for example, you got it from this book by this author published in this year, you know, from this page, the more specific it is, the more credible your reference is going to be. So. The next thing I have in here is just a display book. I just have in here like my different classes <clears throat> for the semester. So yeah, as you can see, I have a public law class. I have a um, domestic relations one and a commercial law one. As for now, there's nothing in here. But what I would usually keep in here is any work that I do for tutorials and seminars and stuff like that, I'll put it in here. So once I'm going to those things, I can only just carry this and everything is intact. Um, yeah, it just makes it handy and also it's much better than a ring binder because the rings in a ring binder tend to... First of all, they hurt, like they accidentally catch on my finger, which is not a nice feeling. And secondly, um, they always break. So this is actually more handy and it's more compact. Next thing I have in here is a textbook. Well, this isn't a textbook actually, it's just a book which I'm reading at the moment, um, just taking notes from, and this is Adoption of Children in Scotland. Um, so yeah, that's what this looks like um, and I've also just tabbed a page. 
you are going to need a lot of these page tab thingies, especially in law school, when you're trying to be organised, because you're going to be reading a lot of stuff, so you need to like tab your pages, especially since you're not going to be buying every single book, so you're going to be borrowing it from the library, and so you can't write in it. So if you tab it, as I said before, you can then make your notes on a separate paper, as long as you correctly say, oh, this is the page that I got it from, paragraph and all that. Another thing I have in here is a little reporter's jotter notebook thing. And I basically use this during lectures to take notes. I like to use this because most times the table that you're gonna get in your lecture hall is quite small. So I find this really handy and all I do is I just take the notes as the um, lecture is going along. Some people have their laptop to take notes, but whatever works for you, this is what works for me. It's really fast and handy. And um, because it's not one of those fancy project books, I can scribble in here because essentially you're going to be writing really fast, trying to catch what the lecturer is saying and at the same time trying to listen and allow what they're saying to sink in. So I like to have one of these because I can jot down things and it's, as you can see, just rough notes. And then what I would do is when I'm studying, I will then transfer that, transfer the notes and make it more neater and easier so that when I come to revise from it it's it's all just really nice as, as well as this I also record lectures as well so I'm recording so if I don't get to jot down everything I've got the recording so yeah that's what I take with me to lectures next thing I have on here is my planner and this one I got from the works and yeah it's just one of those like this and it's A5 and this is yesterday's um, notes. So as you can see, I just bullet point everything that needs to be done. And in red is typically stuff that I urgently need to do. Today's notes, so as you can see, I have to upload this video today. So yeah, having a planner is really handy. I know some people use their phones, but whichever works for you, phone, or writing it down. For me, writing it down and actually visually seeing it helps me better. I plan things that I need to do, homework that I that I receive, and stuff like that. Another thing I like about this planner is that at the back you get a little timetable section, and it kind of reminds me of like secondary school planners. I can write my timetable here and just so that wherever I am, if my phone's died on me or something, I've always got something hard copy that I can look back through. The next thing I have in here is like some headphones. And this is good for, for example, if I do go to the library and I'm trying to listen to one of my lectures, I can just use some headphones. And these are Bluetooth wireless ones, which is also good. I've also got a random calculator in here. You don't need a calculator for law school, but I like to have one just in case I want to calculate stuff, like calculate um, averages, calculate grades, scores, and stuff like that. I've also got a like revision card ring, and it's currently empty at the moment. As part of my Ultimate University Guide series, I will be having an episode based on, you know, how to study. And so I'll be showing you how I use like revision cards to study and how I do that effectively, effectively and also how I use other different things to study. Now, everything else that's in here is pretty much like beauty and healthcare and just random. So. I have a brush, my phone, so yeah, this is essential. A little um, nail kit thing, body spray. Hmm. Smells like strawberries. That Sunglasses, and these are my Kenneth Cole Reaction ones, and I love this. This is like my everyday sunglass. And I like to wear this outside, inside, anywhere really. And inside actually, what it does is it dims the light. And outside, if it's not sunny, it also dims the light. So I really do like this. And cream, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be walking around campus, things are gonna be germy and dirty, you're gonna be washing your hands, and they're gonna be dry afterwards. So I do like to have a nice hand cream, just to make sure that my hands are nice and buttery and smooth. An umbrella, because come on, this is Britain. 
pencil case and this is basically just an Oli and Nick um, it's actually a sunglass case but I use it as my pencil case because it's nice <laughs> because it's nice and small and compact so yeah I basically just keep in here actually a lot of colours and I will be showing you guys why you know having colours is kind of essential for me um, but as well as that I also have like another kind of scent this one I love I always have a scent um, a ruler and a good pencil um, a lip balm oh, but I don't like comics anymore so I should probably toss that and and just like some some pens in here my purse and this is just one from River Island subway card <laughs> that was me like during freshers and you just use this to go on like their underground trains and stuff so yeah I have my purse the main compartment is basically empty then in this section this is where I keep chapstick so this one is actually by Malibu and this is actually my favorite it is a 30 SPF and it's in the mango flavor and I got this from uh, B&M Bargains and it was a set of three for like £1.50 and I also found it in Savers they're really really good you guys I tested it and it lasts it can last about two hours after application after which you need to reapply so how good is that <laughs> amazing a lip gloss and if you know me like purple is my favorite color it's my favorite lip color um, so yeah, I just have this one. This is the uh, Acrylic Pow Pout by MUA and this is in their shade Potency and it's just a really nice gorgeous lip colour. Um, so yeah, I should swatch that for you guys. So yeah, it's a really nice gorgeous lip colour. So if I'm feeling bold and daring, well not really bold and daring but if I just want to put some colour into my face then yeah. I usually have like some hair bands and uh, hair pins and stuff like that. So in this front compartment here, I keep my statute book. And this is actually a statute book, book from last year. So I basically tabbed most of the relevant stuff that I needed. And what you're allowed to do is you're allowed to annotate, highlight, underline um, your statute books. So just like that, but you're not actually allowed to in them. Um, and statute books are essential. It's basically primary evidence that you can use when writing essays. What more than to use legislation? Another primary evidence that you can use when writing essays is cases. And you can use cases and legislation to basically back up the argument that you're trying to make self with your statute book is so essential um i would advise if you're on a budget and you're not sure like what to buy i would say buy your statute books as opposed to your textbooks because with your textbooks you can always use the ones in the library um and take notes but with the statute books more often than not you're allowed to actually bring them into your exam and it's way better than trying to memorize all the different legislation and acts and bills and stuff like that so invest in your statute books and they're actually not that expensive at least they're cheaper than actually getting the textbook so my hard drive um, I carry my hard drive around with me um, just to store like I said my lecture lectures that I recorded and also handbooks, class handbooks and other documents and PDF files that you're going to be downloading. You need a lot more space than a USB. So I have this and this is actually one terabyte and this is a Toshiba one. Thank you Toshiba. So lastly in the back section all that I keep in there is like some shopping bags because you know that we have to now pay about five pence 
for a shopping bag and if you're a student you can't afford to continue paying five pence every time you go into town to buy something so I would say invest in a nice um, durable one this isn't like very durable I do have other durable ones like ones that are waterproof but yeah this is just one that I can carry and it's light and it opens up really really big and this is also, it also helps with when I'm going to the library and I'm borrowing really heavy textbooks and I don't actually want to put it in my bag. I can use one of these shop bags and it just does the trick for me really. I basically have is just a pen, uh, this is just a black pen, a pink pen and just two highlighters. I don't know why these aren't in my pencil case actually, but yeah I just have some pens. That is basically what I carry in my bag. My bag is now empty. So thanks for watching and I hope you continue with me on my UUG series. If you haven't already, check out the first post that I uploaded, um, which is what to take with you to uni. And because next week I'm gonna be on to my episode two where I'll be discussing, you know, how to settle down and settle into uni. So so in that episode, I will be discussing finance and budgeting because I know finance and budgeting is a key point of concern for most people. So yeah, I will be tackling that in next week's episode. So see you guys then. Bye.